got another laptop in today and a um, couple problems with this one according to the owner apparently the there's some hot chocolate or something spilled on the keyboard so the keyboard doesn't work anymore or is having problems um, apparently the trackpad doesn't work um, not sure if it's disabled the driver issue or something to do with the malware or spyware um, there's a very fake Microsoft Silverlight error message on the screen um, and right at the bottom it does say copyright 2010-2012 speed checker limited uh, McAfee's playing complaining there's a risk Java's got an update Avira which is antivirus has a security alert so yeah this computer's got some issues and uh, I'm gonna do what I can to Apparently, the USB port isn't working either, so that could be due to spyware. We will uh, see what I can do to it, I guess. And see if I can get it working. I guess we'll check in later. Yeah, I just noticed something I thought I'd point out. Uh, this computer is running a Vera antivirus, AVG free 2012. <laughs> and McAfee so never run more than one antivirus I'm gonna have to remove uh, two of them and we'll see what's going on from there but there appears to be lots of spyware so once I get to get it down to the bare bone we'll figure out what else is wrong with it okay I run the first scan and we found BitGuard and PC Speedup Service. Whole bunch of folders. Whole bunch of files. Uh, some scheduled tasks. Lots of registry entries. Lots on Internet Explorer to remove. Lots on Firefox. And a fair amount on Chrome. So we're going to clean those up. That should speed the computer up a bit and uh, not quite sure what I meant bare bone there when I was talking I think I meant get it down to one one antivirus program and then we'll have less of this junk floating around and we'll be able to speed the computer up and try to figure out why the touchpad isn't working but all this spyware could be the reason okay I just ran a quick scan um, it says 3,737 problems found, uh, 17 malware, 1,951 registry errors, 4.7 gigabytes in junk files, um, one disk error, 22 security holes, which is Windows updates, files that, uh, critical updates, and of course the hard drive needs a defrag, so... This should speed it up and we'll uh, then be able to run some spyware scans and see what we find. Should be interesting. Okay, check back again. Okay, I just ran another scan and uh, it tells me there's two threats. Uh, Avira is still complaining about viruses and other things. Um, but if you look, there's tons of spyware on this computer. Just about everything you can think of. Well, the rest is tracking cookies. 22 find FLV player, Clarion, search Q4U, Babylon, uh, relevant knowledge, iMesh, PC speed up, conduit, ask bar, and then there's two files in downloads that it says it's junk. Anyways, that was a quick uh, 7 minute 15 second scan, and uh, the next one will be more dense than that and we'll hopefully find more okay I just run another scan there's a whole bunch more just stuff detected uh, quite a few things so we'll get rid of those and run the next scan okay that scan only found three so maybe we're getting to the end of it we'll run one more see what happens Hey, this scan just finished and I've got 27 different objects. 
Uh, mostly just registry entries, nothing major. And uh, we'll try a different one and see what we get. Okay, I just finished uh, ESET online scan, and it scanned for um, just about five hours. It says it found 29 infected files, it cleaned 27. So there's still two files somewhere that are problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install the virus scanner that it has on it, and I'm going to install a VAST and then run a boot scan and hopefully get rid of the rest. Okay guys, so I got the computer back to the customer uh, after running an Avast scan and I got rid of most of the stuff. Updated the drivers and updated uh, Windows updates and the programs that were on it and uh, the computer's running well and got back to the customer and obviously by the time you see this, this has probably been a month or so or maybe more since it was done and the customer hasn't called back or complained so they seem to be pretty happy with it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.